All right, folks, let's jump into the notes page here. Problem 8-100, area and circumference of a circle. Uh, part A of this problem says, how the circle shown here related. That's clearly a typo. It should say, how are the circles shown here related? Now that we fixed that, let's answer the question. How are the circles shown here related? Circles always have the same shape, so what is the relationship between any two circles? Hint, 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 use a vocabulary word. Okay, so let's see this. Um, let, look, we're gonna say this. Well, circles are similar. That's the vocabulary word I was referring to. Since all circles are similar, I can now say this. Okay, so if all circles are similar, that means the area and per perimeter of any circle will be proportional to a circle with a radius of one unit. And that's often called the unit circle because it has a radius of one unit. And if you recall, that's the, the circle that we worked with in lesson 8.3.2. Uh, and if we look at the, the relationship here to go from this radius of one to radius of, of three, that means we're going to have a scale factor here of three. Let's now jump into part B. What is the ratio of circumferences, also known as perimeter? Uh, yeah, so that's worth discussing this little term right here. Uh, circumference is the distance around a circle. We know the term for the distance around a shape is perimeter, but circles are special, so they, they have their own term. It's called circumference, and I guarantee you if you look up the root, uh, the perhaps even Latin roots of that word, it has to do with the distance around a circle. Okay, so what is the ratio of the circumferences uh, of these two circles? So let's just take a look at that. We're going to look at the uh, circumference of that circle with a radius of 3 and circumference with that uh, of the circle with a radius of 1. Uh, that's going to be 3. And the reason for that is this. The ratio of circumferences is three because the perimeter ratio is equal to the scale factor. If you recall from that intro slide, uh, I talked about how your textbook likes to take a ratio approach to analyzing similar figures. So here we have a ratio of the two circumferences. It's equal to the scale factor. Uh, now let's talk about the area ratio. So the area of the circle with a radius of three divided by the area of a circle with a radius of one, that's gonna be equal to the scale factor squared, which is nine. And why is that? That's because the area ratio equals the scale factor squared. Okay, let's move on to part C. Part C, if the area of a circle with a radius of one is pi square units, what is the area of a circle with a radius of three units, with a radius of 10 units, with a radius of r units? So this, this right here, this conclusion, the area of a circle with a radius of one is pi square units, that's a conclusion that we came up with in lesson 8.3.1, um, which was called the special ratio. Uh, so let's now take a look at this whole idea of scale factor. Um, the scale factor squared is equal to the area ratio. So uh, let's take a look at if we have a radius of 3. The scale factor to go from a radius of 1 to a radius of 3 is 3. And 3 squared is 9. So that means the area of a circle with a radius of 3 will be nine times larger than the area of this unit circle, which is pi units. And I should say it's pi units squared, excuse me. Okay, so that's uh, for radius of three. Uh, now let's look at a radius of 10 real quick. Hundred times larger than pi square units is 100 pi square units because the scale factor of 10 squared gives me 100. What if we have a radius of just r? Well, the scale factor, 
compared to a radius of 1 will be equal to r. And that scale factor squared is equal to r squared. And when I then multiply that by pi, which was my unit circle area, I get pi times r squared square units. That's where that formula comes from. When you compare similar figures, and all circles are similar, and their scale factor is just the radius compared to a circle with a radius of 1. Okay, a little fun fact. Uh, Mr. Vest, I, I will not let you graduate. Mr. Vest will not let you graduate if you don't know the formula for the area of a circle. And there's a couple formulas that you got to know for to graduate. This is one of them, also the circumference one that uh, we talked about, uh, or that we're about to talk about in a little bit. You got to know that one. Uh, area of a triangle is one I think you got to know too. I will not let, I will tackle you when you're trying to get your diploma going across the stage if you don't know that formula. Okay, let's move on to part uh, D. Likewise, the circumference or the perimeter of a circle uh, with a radius of 1 is 2 pi units. Notice it's not square units, it's 2 pi units because that is a, a linear dimension. So the circumference of a circle with a radius of 1 is 2 pi units. Uh, and then we're asked, what is the circumference of a circle with a radius of 3 units, with a radius of 7 units, with a radius of r units? We're going to take the same approach we just did. Uh, except now, because we're talking about uh, perimeter, we're just going to use the scale factor, not the scale factor squared. So let's start with the radius of 3. Okay, so let me step through this calculation here real quick. Um, if the radius is 3, I've got a scale factor of 3. That means my circumference ratio will be equal to 3. So the ratio, or the, the circumference of a circle with a radius of 3 is going to be 2 pi, that's the unit circle um, circumference, times the scale factor of 3. Gives me my final answer of 6 pi units. Now, I want to share something with you. Uh, this is what we call an exact value. If you substitute in pi equals 3.14, it becomes approximate. Okay, if I leave the pi symbol in my answer, it's exact. If I substitute in 3.14 for pi, it becomes approximate. Okay, my dogs are very excited in the background to learn about circles. Let's now talk about the circle with a radius of 7. Okay, circle with a radius of 7 has a circumference of 14 pi units. That's an exact answer. And again, how did we get that value? Well, we took the unit circle circumference, 2 pi, multiplied by the scale factor of 7 to get our new answer of 14 pi uh, units. Okay, now we're going to do this for the generic case of when r equals just r. That scale factor is equal to r. That means the circumference ratio will be equal to r. So the circumference of a circle with a radius r is going to be 2 pi times r units. And folks, that's a formula. Now remember, I mentioned previously that 2 times the radius, take a look right here, 2 times the radius, that's equal to the diameter. So we could write this formula as just pi times diameter. Folks, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna erase something here. I'm gonna get rid of that UN. It looks like I'm spelling run. That's better. 2 pi r is the circumference uh, of a circle with a radius of r, or you can also do pi times d. And the reason why this works is because the diameter is equal to 2 times the radius. Now, I do want to highlight something. Let's go back and take a look here. I got some important formulas here. I got this one, and I got this one, and I got this one. And I will tell you this. Um, specifically, and let's go to green here. This formula and this formula are difficult for students to remember. Take a look at them. They got the same symbols in them. There's a pi, there's an r, and there's a 2. Okay, uh, that's very confusing for students. So there, there is a way to, that, that I think is helpful to remember this. Remember that area is in square units. So there better be a square somewhere in your formula. 
So because area is square units, that requires a square somewhere in your formula. And you'll notice you don't have that in the circumference. Circumference is a linear measurement, therefore there's no dimension squared. I do want to go back here a second. I don't like the way I wrote this unit squared in here. Again, I don't want that to confuse you. So I just want to clean that up just a little bit. Oh, I feel so much better about that now. Uh, let's add the green highlight again here. Okay, so there we go. We got our two friendly formulas. The area is pi r squared, and the circumference is 2 pi r. All right, let's jump down here. Uh, now the next question, uh, read the definitions of circumference and area of a circle in the math notes box for this lesson. I'm going to encourage you to do that on your own to reinforce these ideas. But this is just four problems to see if you understand the formulas we just used. Let's jump into the first one. Find the area of a circle with a radius of 10 units. Well, that's easy. Pi times radius squared is pi times 10 squared. 10 squared is 100. So the answer here is 100 pi square units. Now that's the exact answer. If I substitute in 3.14 for pi, which is what I, I, you can either use the pi button on your calculator, which gives you more decimals than 3.14, but it's still approximation because remember that we talked about this in a previous lesson. Uh, this number pi, it goes on forever and ever and ever and doesn't repeat. So your calculator can't possibly show you the exact decimal for pi because it doesn't exist. Uh, so this is, the, uh, this is the exact answer. If I want an approximate answer, I multiply 100 by 3.14 and I get 314 square units. Okay, let's go on to part B. Find the circumference of a circle with a diameter of 7. Uh-oh, diameter 7. Remember, circumference is pi times d or 2 pi r. If we did this with radius, we'd have to say it's 3.5. Okay, so we do pi times diameter. It's going to be pi times 7. Circumference here is 7 pi units which is approximately equal to, if I do seven times 3.14, I get 21.98 units. Now you can use the 3.14 approximation for pi. You can also use the pi button on your calculator. If you use the pi button on your calculator, you'll get a decimal equivalent that's slightly different than this one because your calculator pi button uses more than just 3.14. Okay, let's go down to part C. The area of a circle is 121 pi square units. What is its diameter? Well, let's go back to our formula. Area equals pi times radius squared. Let's substitute in what we know. We know that the area is 121 pi. That has to equal pi times radius squared. If we divide both sides of this equation by pi, those cancel. That leaves me with the following relationship. I have 121 equals r squared which means that r is the square root of 121, and that's one you might know. That's 11. If I now have the radius, I can calculate any quantity for the circle I want, okay? We're asked for the diameter. Well, the diameter is equal to two times the radius, so that's two times 11, 22 units. Pretty straightforward. Uh, part D, if the circumference of the circle is 20 pi units, what is its area? Okay, so we're gonna to have to work backwards and find out what the radius is. So I know this, circumference is equal to two times pi times r, two pi times radius, uh, and that has to equal 20 pi. Now right away, I, I can see that the pi's cancel out. And then I just have 20 equals two times r. Well, two times what number equals 20? Well, that's pretty easy, that's gotta be 10, okay. So we have a circle with a radius of 10. We need to figure out what its area is. Area is pi times radius squared. Pi times 10 squared. 10 squared is 100. So this is 100 pi square units, or about 314 square units. Folks, let's shut it down on this page and pick up page two in just a moment.